Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are doing some more uh, Theros Beyond Death drafts. As you may know, these did not go wonderfully uh, in previous previous attempts. So, but I, I feel like I didn't give the, the format a fair shake. So now we're going to try to do that. 2.66. Also, we could definitely look like this. This seems pretty sweet. You guys like this purple look? Try to get ready to snap some packs. <laughs> oh man. What's the uh this actually, I kind of don't hate this, which is weird. I feel like I should dislike it more. Oh, we can go. Oh, Jesus. This is actually, this is actually kind of sweet. Hold on, I'm going to send this to Katie. Thank you. Unseen Spectre with a resub. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate you. Oh, okay, well, let's fix this, I guess. Let's go down to zero. I'm gonna go like negative 38. That's a nice shade. It looks like you're creating a character in some sort of super realistic MMORPG. <clears throat> oh, I like Nadir Kraken. This is my dear, dear Kraken. Uh, whenever a channel is battlefield on your control, tackle over to stop ditch the mill. 3 3, Timoret. Oh, two lands? Dang. I wanna take this Kraken. This Kraken is ballin'. And if that's his intervention after this Kraken? Oh, we blew, boys. Hopefully this witness will come back, but it, it won't. The light's still, it's still doing this. Even after I, uh... Even after I got a new switch, I literally have a brand new smart switch in there, and I have no idea why it's still doing this. Do, 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 do. You've been gone so much recently. I was standing to think you were Mutual's dad. Wow, that's that's solid. This card's also great. Return of three creatures and/or enchantments to their owner's hands. This is nice because you can bounce your own like uh, any of the enchantments, like the blue, like the thirst for thirst is also very. Good. I'm gonna take the Sea God Scorn. You want thirst over that over Sea God Scorn? You craze. The reason being, I can probably get another. Uh, I can probably get another thirst. G burrito? It's sort of a sandwich? I ain't never heard of that. I have never even heard of that. So 
So I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out why the light flickers still. It's a brand new smart plug, so I know it's not the smart plug. The light itself didn't flicker when it was plugged directly in, so it's not the light. The light didn't flicker when it was plugged directly into the to the battery backup, so it's not the battery backup. So it's literally all three devices. Hibarito. It's fr two fried plantains, meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Oh man, the plantains sound weird there. Vexen Gull is probably fine. We don't really have a reason, a compelling reason to switch colors. Transcendent Envoy is not bad, but none of these are instants yet. Thank you. Plantains are delicious. I agree with you. But I don't know if they're delicious with mayo and like cheese and stuff. Steven, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. 30 months, my dude. That's crazy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Omen of the Hunt. Stern Dismissal. It might just be Wave Rider. We don't have that many enchantments, so I don't think I care about that much. This guy's just mill too, right? Yeah. Is it just Stern Dismissal? I actually don't know. Maybe? I mean, 5-6 is just huge. 2 five is not terrible. I think we just take the 5-6 and try to Thank maximize you. enchantments. We don't have any enchantments now, but... Philip, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Yeah, this is really obnoxious. If we're just going to keep doing this, I'm just going to switch it to the... I wonder if it's a Wi-Fi thing. Wizard, thanks so much for the, for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. I don't think it's none of these are super impressive i'll just take this guy because it has the highest upside oh prophecy's real late wow that's a real late prophecy i mean i'll take it for sure <laughs> uh deny is pretty good meh whatever enchantment is battlefield hard player it's just a milk card we, we, we went over this already um i'll just take memory drain it's a counter spell so we're mono blue right now. That's pretty good. Eh, Field of Ruin. Destroy creature. Sure. Uh, Final Flare is actually probably better, right? I don't even know what the, the lands are worth. Thank I don't even know if they're worth like tickets. The Gaming Champ, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I'll just take the two drops. I mean, if I guess if we get enough, it's a thing, right? Wow, this is just mono blue city. This is the worst mono black deck I've ever seen. Loyalty abilities cost one more. Yeah. You know what? I don't feel like that's going to cut it. 4-4, four, four, return an enchantment from your graveyard to the battlefield. Double final flare. Hmm. One with the stars is kind of fine. It still has abilities, but it's no longer a creature. Why would you put this on an enchantment? I mean, we already have one stern dismissal. I think I'd rather just have the final flare in case we end up being a different color. Eat to extinction seems good. Deny the divine again. I 
think it just might be eat here. Enemy of a life. Six mana gets three hundred being here. Each, each player just gets a card. Sure. Do we just want another vexing gull? This guy's a five five flyer for six. It's not bad. Thank you. JTSA, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. It's rarely a 5-5, but it, it's, it was a 5-5 against me quite a, quite a bit previously. I think I'll just take another Vexing Gull. Like, none of these cards are really convincing me to go into another color here. I think it's just open to the sea here. Another Brine Giant. Mischievous Chimera. 2-2 two, two for 2 Flyer. It's not bad with our 2 Vexing Gulls, and we have double Final Flare. These are instants, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not another Brine Giant, so I think we're just taking this, and then we're just seeing if we can just easily slip into the blue-red deck. Yeah, I think it's just turned into a fish. Turn to fish, if you will. Oh, another Vexing Gull. How many Vexing Gulls is too many? I think it's still better than the two drops, so... Oh, uh, this guy's great. It also does trigger... How much are these? Are these lands worth something in foil? I don't know how to find out. The other final flare came back. I mean, if it's worth like two tickets, I'd probably take it over like something dumb. Sacking a creature or an enchantment in this format doesn't seem terrible. Thank you. Yeah, take another deny. Everything is terrible. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Do you have to write something in this little text? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, click the foil. I forgot to click the... Yeah, I forgot that they have a... A foil option at the top. That's what I was... I was literally on GoPods looking for it. Oh, yeah. They're, like, worth nothing. Okay, cool. Glimpse seems good with our, our nadir Kraken. Create a 1-1 one, one and escape. I think our deck is done. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Another glimpse? Jeez. And I'll just take it. Oh, Chris! 
Lucas, what up, my dude? 7 3. Yeah, I don't care. Man, double E to extinction? Jeez. Three damage to any target, scry one. It's probably good enough, right? Three very good removal spells here. We'll take this. Probably replace one final flight. Ooh, Underworld Breach. I presume that's not worth much. Oh, it's actually worth like two tickets. Surprise, surprise. Excuse me, sorry. I may have to blow my nose a second. I guess it's just one with the stars. Like, it is removal for creatures. I mean, I think our deck looks pretty sweet. I don't know if Ryan Giant is really an option. Uh, creatures gain, target creature gains trample and gets plus X for X is the number of lore counters on it. So plus one, plus two, plus three in trample. Uh, fights up to one creature you don't control. I think it's just Phoenix of Ash. That guy seems great, right? Oh, another's on a fateful end? Jeez. Which three drop do I want in this pack? There's also a thirst, but I don't think we need a thirst here. We have tons of card advantage. We have Shoal Kraken. We have Thassa's Intervention. We have... No, that's not going to draw us cards. Omen, Metamized Prophecy, and Glimpse. I think we're just fine on card options. I think thirst is great, but I think Phoenix to keep coming back is a 5-5 five five or a 4-4. Four 3-3, four. Three three, whatever it comes back as. Or the Fateful End is really, really good. I'm going to take Phoenix here. We could probably cut one Vexing Gull for the Phoenix. I don't think we want that many 3-drop flyers. 3-drop 2-2 two, two flyers. None of these cards are super exciting. I mean, we can have Wings, which gives flying. 1-2 Eidolon, that is an enchantment. Or 7-3. I'm going to take the Wings, because I think if we can get one of the 7-3s later, it's good. Another Sea God Scorn. I'm tempted to just take another Sea God Scorn. It's not Triton Wave Runner. Incendiary Oracle I don't really care about. And that's meh. Yeah, I'm just taking the Sea God Scorn. Bouncing their guys, and then they play one guy, and then bouncing their guys again is just probably a little too good. Yep, that's that's annoying. Um, Stall Mantle is actually pretty decent. Wow, another Sea God Scorn. Either I'm overvaluing this, or other people are not respecting it at all, or no one else is just in red. We have very few spells that 
can target this guy, so I'm not really super excited about it. That could be good against tokens decks. Same thing with a rapid flame. Yeah, we saw a green intervention, a white intervention, and a blue intervention in this draft. Interventions aplenty. None of these cards are super exciting. I mean, we could easily just be mono blue, but I'm not sure it's worth it because Fateful End, Phoenix, and Mischievous Chimera are both are all really good. Only 10 creatures. I feel like we need more creatures. So we can probably cut Glimpse. Cut Wings. Put the other Vexing Gull in. Uh, Zimini Pond, I actually have no idea. I have not thought that far ahead. Um, one more cut, huh? I guess we can cut one Sea God Scorn. 14 3? No, 7 10 for sure. This guy being double red is rough. Alright, let's see. Maybe uh maybe this format isn't terrible. Let's find out. Of course, me winning means it's not terrible. That time I did it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. I feel like this Kraken's gonna be real hard to deal with. You two. Well, as long as we don't die before turn three. Okay. Actually, let me check and see if we drop frames when the light goes off and then on again. Seems good. I agree. I agree. Because if that's the case, I wonder if it's literally just losing the Wi-Fi connection momentarily.
They really tied the room together. I'm not talking about the guys who built the railroads here, man. Are they trying to think of a way to deal with this guy? Do we even block here? I don't know. That is the question. That's not the correct, that's not the correct nomenclature. Asian American dude. Yeah, that was good. I mean, we're going to take eight here. That's a lot. I will obviously not block these guys because I'm not a maniac. Hmm. I like 2 3 here against 2 1. 3 4 can block 3 3. So we're just going to hold back here. I don't think we have automatic firmware update, huh? Let me see if that's even an option. Top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Three lands. I like it. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Oh. I don't know how you, how you deal with this guy, to be honest with you. Um, I wonder if we just play an Exploring Sea Guard here. An Exploring Sea Guard means we can play Phoenix and Vexing Gull next turn. Thanks to Nyad. So let's do that. Am I settling for new? Kind of. I'm still like updating things and working on things and making myself comfortable, but I mean, pretty close. I think it's the same thing, right? Two is two cards from graveyards for each creature exiled this way gain a life. Oh, look, he has intervention in the trash can with no white sources. Interesting. Apparently, uh, apparently our opponent agrees about how the strength of Heliod's intervention. <laughs> Return a creature or a land from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Chris wants to know when you can get a dab channel point reward. I'll dab for free, guys. I feel like this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to. This is my opponent's like, all right, you got it. That guy's got reach. I guess we're just going to pass the turn. I have no idea how to turn off the automatic firmware updates. If such a thing even exists. I just want the light to stop going on and off. We are at 228 frames. We've been holding at 228 dropped frames. Not terrible. It's 0.03%. Uh, enters the battlefield. Search library for a card. Put it in the graveyard. Then shuffle your library. Sure, that guy's good. Thank you. Okay, no frames were dropped in that moment. 
Okay, you're getting two, and this guy's getting plus one, plus one. Sure. Josh, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 28 months. Good lord. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they sent me a brand new box of... Uh, of sw Do you seriously? Was that not... That dab wasn't good enough for you, my dude? Good lord. My god, everyone's a critic. Everyone's a dab critic. Everyone's a god dab critic. Okay, this guy is going to be as big as this guy soon. No, that's not true. It'll never be as big. You said the G-dab word. I did. I did. Um, I mean, we're just going to... Just going to yes it. Wouldn't it be nice if you could return three creatures to another hand? Yeah, it'd be real nice. I agree with you. Brett, I agree with you, my dude. I'm just going to pass because the 3-3 three, three flyer does nothing against the 1-4. And it lets me keep up Fateful End and Vexing Gulf. Yeah, Nader Kraken seems like it might be a good limited card. It's hard to say, though. I've only made four 1-1s one so far. What do they put in the graveyard? Voracious Typhoon. Typhon? Tiffin? Typhon? 7-7? Seven, seven? That's a big boy. Six seven? That's a big boy. Oh, what a big boy. No, well, they don't have reach, so. Thank you. Chicken run official. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's go with blue here. Get in with my birds. It's a bird day. What does that mean? I don't know. I do not have to deal with Spectrum. We have Comcast. And one of the first things I did have to do was deal with the internet, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Let's play Wave Rider. I feel like we're real wide right now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they block the biggest things, which is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Exile a creature enchantment, then return to the battlefield under turner's control. What are you hitting here? Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess we get it back, though. Well, that's something, all right. Three... Four, five. Actually, maybe we chump lock this guy. And this guy's just going to keep getting bigger. So, three, one. So, three, four, five, six. We're just going to assume you don't have a pump. I mean, they already played one gift of strength. I don't know how many they're going to be playing in their deck. Locomotion of tiny rodents. 
Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll keep that guy. That's just another good old, that's a three, five. That's even better. Send him on down to rat train. That's what I always say. Sleepy time, big bug. What does that even mean? Oh, you're talking about this big bug. I got you. Oh, yeah, this light's got to go. We're just going to plug it right into the outlet as soon as I get my... As soon as, as soon as Daddy gets his strength up. Let's have one card. We have no cards. They have two cards. We have no cards. <laughs> that is a literal rad train for those on the YouTube. This is what we're looking at. That is an actual factual rat train. Three, four, five. Like I'm not in a position to like, just keep, they get to kill one dude here. That's totally fine. Well, they get to kill. What? Sure. Okay, so they left this guy alive. That seems weird. Ugh, two one fours. Not ideal. I mean, I can make this guy a six. I guess we need to get rid of one of them and then we can escape, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to do these six, I guess. I'm going to hold this because we have Shoal Kraken in play, so. Send them on down to the actual rat train. Six, huh? I'm just going to jump this guy. Three of those guys. That is something. Oh boy. Oh yeah, let's let's start picking these guys off. Oh, all three of them. Send them on down to chat train. And we'll get rid of one, two, three. Caca! And now it's a three, three. So even if they double block, they don't get to kill us. They don't get to kill us no mo.
da, da, da. Have you ever gone outside and had to call them? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not there yet. What is this guy? Just a seven, seven? He don't got no. I mean, actually, just hold this back and, like, start eating these guys. You're a six, seven, though. You can easily block here, and you can chump block. So I guess we'll just... Yeah, they're at a point where they're priced into blocking this guy, so... Because otherwise I'm just dealing them seven, so... And now the Vexing Gulls can get in next turn, so... Once I sent them on down to Rat Train... Yeah. Yes. I mean, I just turned this guy into a fish, right? And then we just get in there for a million. Now I kind of want the second Sea God Scorn because I feel like that would have been pretty good. I don't even know if I like Final Flare that much. I guess it's I guess it's fine. That much buffalo chicken would hurt my tum tum so bad. A little, I know a little ditty about Jack and Diane. Did you guys know those? Did you guys know those, know those two? I think we're good. I don't know. Our deck seems good. Would Kobayashi or Rob eat more chicken? Kobayashi would eat more. Rob would probably eat it faster. Ah, oh, mulligan. Keep. Done. Wonder if these guys can get in there. Probably not. They're probably terrible. Boot do 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 do. I have a big old unopened bottle of Cholula here. Maybe that's what we'll play with. Come on, Eileen. Wait, what just happened? Oh, never mind. I'm actually, I think I just had a, a brain aneurysm. Here's some drafty bits. I had to watch ads to get up to 100 since no one wants to see uh, 90 individual one-bit cheers. That's true. No one does want that. Well, this bird's fairly obnoxious. I guess we'll just play Prophecy. And we can keep up. Uh... Well, all right. I want to bottom you because I need red. We'll just keep this guy. I think that's fine. No attacks. Mm 
Brett, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. I appreciate you. I always appreciate you, my dude. And I'm really sad we couldn't get together when I was in Florida. We'll have to do it again next time. You know. Thank you. If you're up for it. All right, we're going to choose a card name. We're probably just going to choose Towering Mystic. Because we're going to play this guy this turn. Hajgu Lashi, we did it two years now. Drink that Cholula to celebrate. I am going to open it just because I like minimizing. Not minimizing so much. It's not making it less. I like getting rid of packaging. I like opening all my things and throwing away all the packaging so I don't have to do it in stages. You know what I mean? It's a real OCD thing I have. Where I'm just like, let's get all the packaging off of all the things. We'll throw it out. And then these guys are just ready to go. I think they're missing lots of things. Let's draw some creds. All right. Well, we can't play anything else. So I'm just going to pass here. What is the last one? Look at the top card of each player's library. Let's do it. I was just excited about drawing two. That's good enough for me. Come play Commander. We'll go easy on you. Well... It's a bit of a commute now, buddy. It's a bit of a commute. Like, yeah, like if I if I buy a bunch of food products, I like 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 I have like these uh, this this fruit and nut trail mix, right? And as soon as I got it, the first thing I did was like tear off the top. It's I mean obviously there's a little bit left, but like then it's like ready to go, and I don't have to like make five trips to the garbage can when I open five different products at different times. I just like to open all the products at once. And I could throw it all out at once. And then they're good to go, you know? Not the Kraken we're looking for. That is correct. This is not the basics our opponent is looking for, so. Let's take a gander at the top. Oh, that is... Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I think we just play 3-5 here. We could play the chicken, but next time we get to play chicken and keep up deny the thing. No, Cholula is definitely my go-to hot sauce every day. Like it's, it's just so good. It's just so good. I don't know, man. I got a, I got a Cholula thing. I think we're just alphaing here. Like if you want to trade with one of these guys, that's totally fine. You're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's a good deal. Little miss, little miss, little miss. Happy round. Oh yeah, there we go. Get that light off. Get it back on. We're doing it. I'm on a million. I don't know why. Oh boy, there's a forest. Two forests. Woof. Let's see if there's a third one sitting there. I know we know they got their hand is like mono green cards, so. What up, one glue? Oh, they're they're getting that scry, that desperation scry. Really? You're going to lead off with Nessian Horn Beetle. I didn't even counter that dude. I'm like, all right, that's fine. You know what? Mm, that's okay. 
pretty sure the play is just to kill this guy, right? Could you be love? I'm gonna put you on the bottom. Or even try to fool ya. Put some mayo on my name. Are they just taking this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, I'm not gonna pump because I assume you have some sort of shenanigans. No shenanigans were had this day. Birdman is in the chat. Harvey Birdman. What is this you're doing? Do -do 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 yeah, all right, it's fine. They can fight. I could just get that guy back, right? Adding mayo to the internet seems to have helped. Yeah. Buddy, I know. I know how mayo works on the internet. People love it. Is this Heliod's intervention? They just exile this guy and... No, that doesn't do it. Gain... F okay, they're dead. These are the hot pro tips I tune into the stream for. Are you talking about the mayo chat? Mayonnaise. Every day. Miracle Whip? No. I think this hand is keepable. We're on the draw? Sure. Oh man, my friend Jesse, uh, who is also an ex of mine, she was like, have you watched High Fidelity on Hulu yet? And I'm like, what do you mean, like the movie? And she's like, no, there's a show, High Fidelity, on Hulu now. And she also just told me her son Jameson uh, started playing Pokemon and her life is now filled with decks, which is hilarious.
Well, our deck is not high on two drops, that's for sure. This guy's going to mill us. Oh my god. This is my life now. God, this card is so bonkers, dude. Land, or not land, land card. Card that I can deal with this guy with. I guess we're just going to put the gull out. We're going to gull it. Gull it. Yeah, High Fidelity is probably one of my top five favorite movies. Boom, 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 boom. It's got hexproof, huh? That's pretty good. Hexproof is a cool thing. Man, this guy's doing some business. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this card is actual bonkers. It's like it's like if uh, Curiosity and uh, Armadillo Cloak had a child, and their child was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get it, do do. Give me the beat, boys. Bring my soul. I wanna get lost in you. Rock and roll and cracking. I'm not going to mess around here. I'm just going to kill this guy if I can be killed. They have two cards. Yeah, of course they have something. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's amazing. It's the strongest towering wave mystic I've ever seen. They got one card left. Two cards left in hand, I guess, because they draw a card every turn. Why is this whenever it deals damage? Not when it deals damage to a player. Like, Oh, it's also milling us for four because it's a 4-3? Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, I think we did it. I mean, we're not attacking here. They're at 35. I think Kraken can help us, but it's going to be rough. We only have 12 cards, so we can only we can only realistically make like 10 Krakens. Oh, give me the beat, boys. Bring my phone. I want to get... Yeah, but man, that Phoenix is that Phoenix is breaking out. Uh I'll use this one. Oh, I didn't play my Phoenix. Well, that's really sad. Do 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 Ten Kraken was the name of my high school rap band. It's a good name. I have no complaints about that. So we can flash in this vexing goal. We got a stern dismissal we can keep up. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna bounce this dude. They're gonna copy the Kraken, right? Oh, goodbye. Replay your gentleman. Yeah, 
Give me the baseball and free my soul. We just have to win before we run out of cards. Magic the Gathering. Well, I don't care about that guy at all. I'm trying to move this chair, but it ain't working. Oh, we can actually bounce our one with the stars, and then this guy just becomes nonsense. I mean, I guess we don't want them to mill us for another two. I guess we'll do that next turn. We could also play Shoal Kraken. I kind of just want to start getting my damage in. Boom, 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 boom. Because next time we can just bounce everything. If we hit a land. Because I'm definitely not skipping any Krakens. You got it. Oh, they're going to play it. Yep, that's, that's pretty good. You're going to get Staggering Insight back. Well, now we're going to hold on to that to make sure we put it on a dude we uh, don't like. You 100% attack here. Wow, really? That's surprising. And drift away. <laughs> I'm going to bottom, I'm going to keep one. <whistles> Give me the beat, boy. Man, they're at 27. We got to really start cracking in there. Cracking in there. Oh, dang. All right, so now they're going to make the cracking, right? Because that's just like their best option and then we're going to see god scorn like everything that we can they're going to make the bird fascinating i have no cards in hand okay i'll take three you can draw a card sure We definitely don't want them to replay this guy, so I think we're just... And drift away. See you on Scorn, bounce you, you, and you. Give me the bee bones and bring my soul. I want to get a lost in your rock and roll. Drift away. I don't think any of the tentacles need to get in there. Actually, if we attack with four tentacles, like even if they block two tentacles, it's pretty terrible for them. Maybe they just jump here so they can untap this guy. Alright, well, they're at a normal life total again. And they played a land, so another hand is Brine. 2 1. And. Okay, well. And 1 1. I mean, we can start dealing a bunch of damage with this guy in the air, too. Ooh, that's good. I think. Eight, nine, five, six, seven. I think we just keep attacking with the bird boys. 
Give me the bird, boys. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. They're going to mill us for two, so we're going to have three cards. I think that's fine. Like, we know their hand, and if they draw any anything that's relevant, it's probably going to be able to get countered. I just don't see the point in uh, taking down the, the counter spell here. It's whenever it enters the battlefield, so as a 1-1, one, one, I'm not scared of that. If they draw an enchantment that we care about, we can deny it. I'm going to sweat garlic tomorrow. It'll be so wonderful. What is that even? Dear God, man. Get your life together. Like, none of their creatures can ever attack into my 8-9, so. Tempted to crack this. I, I wanted to keep it because we have the final... Oh. Um, yeah, okay. Those are good. Um, put you on top. Put you on top of that. Yes. So if we make this an O one, then they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight power, so they can't really do anything against this guy. Now it's just an abyss. I just get to eat your guys. Sure. I think we actually need to start alphaing here. This tower and wave mystics a little bit frightening. I actually put a sh I should have put the fish on this guy. I think that might cost us the game. Um. No. Because they can just copy this guy and then attack with both. One, two, three, four. We have eight mana. Pretty sure we have to alpha here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six damage right here. I'm pretty sure they're dead. And drift away. <laughs> they kind of want to save this guy, I guess, because we have three cards. <sighs> There's so much freaking garlic on this burrito. It's like eating an entire clove at once. And this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we actually have to pump this again, unfortunately. But... If they don't have anything in their one card, we win the game. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Why is this song stuck in my head? I don't know. Um, cause Uncle Kraken does that even make any sense? I kind of want to see God's scorn because they're playing a bunch of enchantment nonsense. But again, like I think one is enough because we still have Stern and a bunch of removal. I don't know. Our deck seems good, but grindy. I'll keep this because of Omen.
But it's not an Uncle Cracker song. I don't even know who Uncle Cracker is, actually. I couldn't name a single Uncle Cracker song. Did they? Oh, two. Okay. I was like, did they not play this? That song you're singing? The song I'm singing is a Doobie Brothers song. This is not an Uncle Cracker song. Uncle Cracker, whoever that is, may have covered it. But this is definitely a Doobie Brothers song. Uh, I guess we're just going to mill each other. Just like friends do. Laughs in old. <laughs> yeah, all right. I see you're really, really committed to this mill strategy here. Give me the main boys. I thought it was this song. That's hilarious. No, no, bro. Uh, you got two cards? I'm just making this a, a friggin' fish. Are you guys talking about me, like, killing them a turn earlier? By... Whatever. Wow. Just... Wow, there's an Elspeth in the graveyard. That's something right there. Oh God. Oh, it's your boy. I guess you can stay home. Otherwise, they just mill us. I don't want to get milled like this. Sorry if I came off like a real Dewey Brother elitist there. You totally did. I was like, wow, this guy is... What a fool believes. A wise man has the power. That's a good jam. <laughs> what a fool believes. Let's see if we can get in there with this, guys. See what happens. Should have, should I have played my Kraken first? No. Did I? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, Mitch, tell Ember, Alex, and Gavin that I say, hey, what up? It 
it's fun for you, but not so much everyone around. You know what? I can get that. I have a stack of receipts over here. Some are from the post office. Some are from Home Depot. Most are from Home Depot. The biscuit has a power. I'm just taking two here. Like, I think they played the plus two, plus one, plus two. Which they're probably just going to play anyway. Yeah, cool. So you got three, three. That guy's never connecting again. I will mill for like fucking seven though here. Jesus. Never look into Uncle because I'm so so I I'm familiar with the name Uncle Cracker, but I can't I couldn't think of a single song if I had to. man has the power to reason away. Boom, 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 boom. <coughs> Why did they stop singing when Journey came on? That's crazy. Well, they can't. That's interesting because they can't. Ex es they can't escape this. Let us see what happens. Do they have two of these? Oh, yeah. We're, so we're milling eight here. We're going to six cards. But we do get to take this dude down, presuming they have nothing else. And they're actually at seven, which is... It's a pretty juice for us, huh? Actually, yeah, yeah, we should have put on the second guy. That would have been better. All right, we go to six cards. Don't be another enchantment, I guess. Well, it looked like they were gonna pay some nonsense, but. <laughs> sure. I think we just pass here. We pretty much have lethal on board. We can omen of the sea, make another one one. Sure, get your scry on. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. If they go to eight, like they still block here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have you enjoyed Theros drafts? No, I have not, which is why I was giving them another chance. And this draft is going a little bit better. I feel like I'm understanding the format a little bit more, but 
Uh, my first few attempts at this format were not good, but I also don't know if I was drafting against... Um, good decks, you know what I mean? It didn't, it doesn't, yeah, it didn't resonate with me either. Put it on the bottom. They didn't like it. I mean, even if they have two enchantments here, they only mill me for four, so we're fine. So I feel like we're good, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I saw your post. That's the best of Sea God. It's just bonkers. QR best of Sea God, whatever, whatever it's called. The wise man wins the match. Yeah, we haven't dropped a game yet with this deck. The white man has the power. Keep. Uh, let's do this. Do this. Okay. God, these people keep milling me. Stop milling me. I'm not sure if there will be any Pioneer, I'll be honest with you. I actually have plans at 9. This is going to be a quick stream. Sure. Is that 1-3? Ain't nobody got time for that. Guys, you know what time it is. We'd be cracking. Nadir, yeah. <laughs> he good. This cracking is really, uh, nope, definitely never blocking that. You can ninjutsu something for all I care, my dude. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. What does this do? When it enters the battlefield, it's the top three cards of your library and you're a great rich. Sure. There's another one. There's a funeral rice. Nothing relevant in here yet. I'm tempted to just... I'm tempted to make it a fish. Let's make it a fish. It's got death touch, and that scares my kraken. Also, Katie wants me to show you guys that it's nacho time. And these are her nachos. Despite the meat, which I'm not a fan of, they look pretty bomb. So, that was a direct request from Katie, so enjoy. Solid plate of nachos. Respect. Get out of here. You get out of there. What is this? One three? Did they kill my thing? Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Oh, that makes my life real sad. 
I should have just kept up Starlet Mantle, I guess. I should have just protected him. Bagot! Oh, there goes light again. It's so weird. I have no idea why it does that. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Man, getting your into Deer Crack and exiled by Final Death when you have Starlight Mantle in hand is a real downer. Oh, I should have milled myself here, actually. That would have been good for Phoenix of Ash, but... Eh. We didn't hit anything great, so... It's definitely not the smart plug. It's it's definitely not it's not the light because the light works fine when I plug it directly into the battery backup, which is what they're plugged into now. This is the last card? Oh, that card's good. Oh, that's pretty good. What'd they get back? Uh, the Catablepus. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good with a stupid Kraken on board. I do wish I had more creatures here. Bright breath, cat oblepus. Blight breath, not bright breath. Bright breath, blight breath. Words are difficult. Hmm. Got it. Catobleepus. Oh, interesting. One, two, three. Yeah, next time we'll play the uh because this puts some good some good defense on the ground. And next time we can play the Phoenix and still keep both of these up if necessary. You got it. Interesting. Beginning of your up. What does Catobleepus read? Uh, 
your devotion to black. So it's going to be like one. It's going to be, is it, it's going to be three. Uh, I guess we can bounce this in response, right? That seems good. And they can't actually play Cattle Bleepus this turn. I overpaid because I'm a dummy. So they play Cattle Bleepus to try to kill this next turn. We can bounce the land pad. And their devotion is two. That seems good. Or we can just play Shoal Crack in here. I think this is just better, right? One, two, three. I mean, this is six in the air. This is a two-turn clock. We know they have Cattle Bleepus. If they play Cattle Bleepus, it's not a two-turn clock, I guess, because they can sack their guys, but... That's the way to this fat boy's heart. Wow. Okay, so they have one card and it's Cattle Bleep. Oh, I guess they got this guy. Here's just plus one, plus negative. Okay, sure. Cattle bleepus. How is it three? What am I missing? Oh, because this is still black. So I guess it wouldn't have worked anyway. So, yeah, they're still going to have three. So even if we bounce the bleepus, they still have base three. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna actually keep this island in case we draw something that uh, lets us trigger it. No. Serious question, it's raining really hard right now, but I would still like to summon a rodent-based means of transportation. Do I have to go outside to call on the rat train? Yeah, have you ever gone outside to call on the rat train? <laughs> Unbelievable. So they're not dead to this guy because they got a bunch of little, little dirtily tricks to do. Oh, gain that life. You did it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's right, buddy. I'm actually just going to play this now because I want to see what we hit. So. Um... This guy's fine. They only have nine cards in their deck. This guy could be backbreaking. But Frank, if you played your other land, you could crack the omen to scry. It's true. They're just going to keep milling themselves. God, so much life. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's still five lands in their deck. Four lands in their deck? Four out of seven four out of these seven cards are lands. Well that's good. For us, I guess. So they only have three spells left somewhere. Maybe four if their hand was not a land. Interesting.
You got him. He dead. You put it on your cat bleepus. And a traveler's amulet. Well. Oh, what up, Fitz? Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, I guess we're just passing here. I got a bird on it. I got a bird on it. Do, 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 do. Get in there. Doesn't get float, right? Alright, they're going to one. Should have cracked the omen, but, you know, we're not that good, guys. We're not that good. Alright, they have five cards left in the old librario. Oh, biscuits. I'll take one. Sack it. Play it again. This could be good. I'll sack it in response. Oh, that still works? Wow, that was terrible. Who? What's fighting me? That doesn't even make any sense. It's not even around to fight. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I actually don't know functionally why that works. Oh, that makes sense then. It deals damage. I thought it was fight. This all It's all coming together now. It's all making a lot more sense to me. Now I feel better. Well, we got Phoenix. So we can probably still just kill them. Um, bottom, I'll keep that. So... This guy's surprisingly obnoxious. One, two, three. Cattle bleepus. Cattle bleepus. Yep, let's go to three. Let's like this guy too. Yep, I'm at 11. Should I pump it, guys, to make it big? I'm gonna get rid of this guy. If you want to sack it in response, that's fine.
One, two, actually, cancel that order, as Marshall Sutcliffe might say. We'll just play this guy. I will decline to draw. One, two, three, one, two, three. I got two activations right now. Yep, seems good. Just some good draws. <laughs> oh, they have one card left? That's all we have to survive till then. I don't know why I'm like... Yeah, I was like... Oh no, we're gonna die. They're coming back. And then I forgot like the metric that we could probably win on is cards in deck. And we can block this Nyxborn Colossus quite a bit. They have one card. I guess they could play, yeah, they could play that. I mean, we're just gonna block it anyway, so I'm not really super concerned. Well, that's interesting. Buffering and buffering and buffering well. I represent buffer. He will reign in and boogling. See, actually, if we attack here and kill this, then we're forced to block with the Nyxborn Seagull. What can we counter for? Uh, six? That's pretty good. Uh, that's all they have, but that still does it. Because it means they can't activate it and kill our two blockers, which would be insane. Because then they just kill us. So literally, my rare has to counter his rare. That's insane. And this is why I dislike rares in general when it comes to drafting, but... And pay your six. Yep, I feel like Deny the Divine is pretty nice because they have a bunch of nerds that we want to get rid of. Oh boy. I almost feel like I don't want these guys because they mill and I don't think we want to help them, but yeah, alright, I can take one of these nerds out. Um, yeah, this hand seems good. Oh wow, look at that little guy. So we can actually play this and then be perfectly set up for the Sea Guard. That's pretty nice. Scry 2. Oh, uh, I kind of want both of these, even though, like. Even though we're not going to hit a land. I think that's still fine because we're drawn too. Oh, and they miss land drop here. Choose a card name. Nyxborn Seaguard. Now we can Fateful Land or 
deny the divine here. Or Thassa's intervention for two. Do I care about that? Not really. This guy puts us back up to seven. Yeah, it's probably, you definitely want to upgrade your router. Swamp versus Mistress Chimera. I guess if they play something like Pelucranos, we have Sea God Scorn, but we have to draw the card. You know what I mean? Like we have to draw land rather. Uh, I guess we can just bounce it, right? I think it's better to get a guy down here because we just have no guy down here, so. Oh, they just exiled our guy? Sure. Mm -hmm. And this card's quite obnoxious. I think we're just, I think we are going to deny it. Uh, I'm going to keep you on top. Makes our Thassa better, makes our Sea God Swarm better. It lets us cast Phoenix if we draw it. I guess they had two. Well, now I get to kill both your guys. Well, that's pretty good. And this guy's what? XL4? Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, that's fine. We have Faithful End for that. Do, 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 do. Put that bird on top. Oh, yeah, you still. Still stay. I mean, they're definitely going to chain Web Arachnid next turn, but we are going to counter that dude. Which puts them to seven. And then we can also probably play Gull. If they don't play land. Oh, it looks, it looks good. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so you're dead. Interesting. I probably would have went with the... Let's 
Oh yeah, keep that on top. Oh, got him. Good games, my dude. Good games. Is this our first 3-0? I don't know, maybe. But either way, thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank patreon.com slash frank Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And manatraders.com, which is an amazing subscription service if you guys are interested in playing Pioneer, Standard, or Modern on Magic Online. Uh, definitely check out. You can get the first three months of any subscription for 20% off if you use the link and promo code right down below. So check that out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.